All right, I was having a little problem a little while ago, like a week ago, with getting my US-65 to arm properly. Um, I couldn't figure it out. I saw a Joshua Bardwell uh, video that helped me out a lot. I'll link it in the description. And um, what he said basically is go to the command line. So you connect your drone to Betaflight here. And I don't, I don't put the battery in. I leave the battery out. It seems to be fine. Um, and then I go down here to the command line and now if you can just type I just typed in status and I look at arming disable flags so right now there these two flags are I can't arm it because it's in the command line and that one I believe is um, because it's hooked up to beta flight the MSP one. I'm I'm not a hundred percent sure but I'll link the um, the flags in the uh, description as well um, so pretty much what I found out was that it was the throttle and I wasn't sure you know how that uh, that was working because my throttle was all the way down um, but what was happening was it was mapped it wasn't mapped right so I went up here I'm gonna go up here to receiver yeah and it, it disconnects and connects a lot too I don't know why it's quirky like that um, so yeah this this does this for me too you see how the throttle is going up and down and up and down that's I don't know how to fix that and I've heard other people have that same problem but it seems to be okay um, see now let, let's see if I go up okay the, with my throttle it's all the way up but now what I didn't realize at first was these nu these letters here the T corresponds with this T over here and this is the channel map right here so what I did was I moved my throttle up and down like this and I think I it, it might have been uh, my throttle was set to uh, my right stick so it it thought that it was half throttle so that's why it wasn't arming so what I I needed to do was just change this T and put it in a different spot so you can configure these and map them all to different things um, so you can change these letters around and that makes it so the throttles in a different spot so let's see I'll just to be you know just to be clear I'll do a T so now let's see see now I'm going up on my throttle oh and it's still working oh I might have had to say I might have to save it so if I did a T and I did save now let's see what happens yep see now now my roll is going way up and way down it al it's always going to go in and out it pulses like that I don't know why um, so that's wrong so I'll go back to what I had originally but this wasn't the way this wasn't um, from the factory it wasn't the correct way set up so I needed to configure it a little bit just change all I had to do is change that T around and it works fine so then I'm gonna save this now okay so now it should be my throttle yep okay yep and then um that's it and then i just and then i put my throttle down and you can go you know back to the command line and type in status again and and uh see what's preventing it from arming down here with the disable flags and i'll link the uh video uh the joshua bard will video and the um the flags thing page website Cool. All right. Hopefully this helps somebody.